my name is Kimberly Donovan Hendrickson. I came from Puerto Rico. Um, I first came in October the 30th to New Bedford. And from, I spent two months. And then I came to Fall River January the 13th to the Comfort Inn Hotel. And after that, um, we got an apartment here in Fall River by Battleship Cove. I have two kids. Um, How old are they? One is eight and the little girl is four. Um, we've been fine from since the hurricane with all the help that they've been providing for us. And um, we're just looking forward to the future. Everything is fine from now, thank God. And you've made some good friends here. Yeah, really? we've been kind of like a... We made family with the rest of the families that came from Puerto Rico in the hotel. And now we're still in contact, so. And you mentioned a couple things that you enjoy doing and what you're we looking like to forward to. We to the library, the library in Fall River. We always go to the, that library. I have the Battleship Cove there. We still have to go and uh, explore Fall River. Good luck. What do you want to say? Yes, we are expecting more families to arrive uh, here to Fall River and uh, many other cities because uh, back in our land, our beautiful land, uh, things are not back to normal as many people may think they are. Um, there's problems with, uh, with the health system, doctors, no doctors available, there's no jobs, um, there's financial problems. And all that contributes, like, as of a couple of months ago, like, if I am not mistaken, 83 to 86 schools were closed. Mm -hmm. And that impacts the, the, the land in so many ways. So, yes, you are going to be seeing a lot of our Puerto Rican uh, sisters and brothers coming to the United States and to Fall River. Okay. We're also cognizant of the fact that the hurricane season is just starting. All the meteorological reports that we have read show that it's going to be a very severe hurricane season. And we've heard from Puerto Rico, the governor of Puerto Rico has very clearly stated that the grid cannot take another hit like this. Wendy, talk a little bit about your position here and how you're seeing a different kind of homelessness right. with people who've come here from Puerto Rico. Um, so, to escape, to escape what uh, the hurricanes have done to their country. So all of us here have worked with homeless populations before, and many people remember when we had families that were living in the motels. And that was a different kind of homelessness than we have now. That, in some ways, we would call a chronic homelessness, a homelessness that was because of substance abuse, or homelessness uh, because of people uh, not having economic choice and not having economic uh, ability to move forward. But what we're seeing now, this is called environmental homelessness. These are people that all of a sudden were living great lives, and all of a sudden, in an instant, their life changed. So having these people coming to the motels and moving into Fall River, their sole desire is to get out of the motels, is to find a home, is to find a job. They are highly motivated and ready to move forward. And let me segue to that. There are some good stories to be told as to what's been happening. And uh, would you share some of that with me? Oh, sure. We've had many families receive um, housing here in Fall River, and their children are enrolled in Fall River Public Schools, and they're rebuilding their lives, getting connected to the community. Um, so we're so lucky. Now we're just moving forward, and the next steps is helping them find furniture and mattresses and household goods from the home project. The children have been homes. in the schools. Mm -hmm. They're going to be going to camps here yes. in Fall River. Yes, they're going to camp in the summer. Anybody have anything else they'd like to add? Uh, the community can help in a number of ways with donations to our home store when we're up and running as soon as we find a bigger space. And if anybody knows of a space in the city that's uh, accessible, we would love to talk to you 
about that, but you could also help through contributions so that we can help kids get to camp for the summer. Uh, we're, we just met right before we sat to talk with you. We just met with the Boy Scouts, and we're looking to put together a Spanish-speaking Boy Scout troop here in the community. So Great. anybody, you know, we're open to ideas. If you have a great idea how you can support people, come talk to us. If you want to volunteer, we'll find something for you to do. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.